वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई साइट कोर डायरीज दिस इज ए चैनल वेर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग साइट कोर सी एम एस एंड इट्स कॉन्सेप्ट एंड फंडामेंटल्स एज आई मैंशन अर लियर इफ यू आर फ्रॉम डॉट नेट बैकग्राउंड आई वॉन्ट टू एड समथिंग न्यू इन योर स्किल सेट देन साइट कोर इज अ गुड चॉइस दिस वीडियो इज अ कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ अ uh last video so if you have not watched the last video then uh, i will recommend that you should watch that video first and then come back to this one link is given in the description for the same so we we, we will be continuing with the introduction of the site core in this video so let's see more into the site core before moving let me introduce myself who i am this is me my name is jitendra khanekar i'm working as a site for architect in one of the leading company in mumbai i'm a site for certified developer i'm here to learn and share my non technical knowledge with you below is my site for blog and if you if you are is exper already experienced person in site for then you can directly visit to this blog and you can view few uh, blogs there please like share and comments on my video please subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to get a new updates and video video notification site core experience platform xp in in last video we have we, we have already discussed that we will be addressing uh, the uh, the this product of a site core in the, on our video so we will be concentrating on the site core experience platform product so what is what it uh, what is site core experience platform site core experience platform provides you with the tools for content management digital marketing and analyzing and reporting let's see those features in the uh, detail the first feature is advanced content editing capabilities so so site as as it is a cms so it will provide you it should it is provide you the content editing capabilities workflow and security so whatever contain which you are editing it is controlled so only the approved control will be displayed to the uh, on the level i side built in form so you have a lot of forms like uh, contact us uh, the registration form so site core experience platform has a functionality where you can build those forms multilingual and multi site management so multilingual multiple language on your website so generally we have multiple languages on the website let's uh, like canadian website they always have a two languages english uh, english and the french so it it is supports multilingual websites uh, multi site one site and multiple brand that also supported by the uh, site core experience platform web analytics uh, with 360 degree customer view uh, it, it has a similar tool what we have in the google analytics we called as a site core analytics personalization with the rule based and behavior targeting so site core is a platform has a digital marketing capability so it provide you the option to personalize your content advanced ab and multivariate testing again this is a digital marketing so it provides you an option for ab to ab testing and also multivariate testing multivariate means you have a multiple devices like la how how your content looks like on laptop a mobile desktop or you you have multiple channels so those testing also it provides an option yet it has a marketing automations email management uh, marketing taxonomies optimized search engine so it provides option for the seos a uh, customer engagement measure, engagement measurement so it uh, provides an option where it quantifies the engagement of the web customer to the website so how much how much uh, uh, your website is engaging your customer that 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 is calculated in the experience platform so that is this, this is actually help you to improve your dj your website digital presence let's see different actors perspective the how, how the how the site core xp is used by the different actors okay so as you know site core uh, is is the combination of content and the marketing platforms so the actors are also the similarly we have a uh, different actors okay so first actor will be a uh, author so authors is nothing but a content editors who will manage the content of the website okay so he what what functionality or what uh, responsibilities he has he can create a pages he can upload the media like images uh, videos pdf whatever the media is required he can upload that he can define the taxonomy of the content he can he can tag he or she can tag the content 
he can he or she can publish the content user management content workflow so that th these are the functionality which will be done by the authors or a content editor the next role is the marketers so what can a marketers do here who is using the marketing platform so they can design the campaigns so uh, campaigns are the integral part of marketing so they can design those campaigns uh, they can have they can view the analytics and reports they can personalize the content they can do the a b testing now the third role is a developer's role okay what the developer can do developer has to build a component so he can develop the component he will define the data structure so how, what kind of a data what kind type of a data that will be defined by the developer he will assemble everything okay in one and uh pro will he will provide the framework for the authors and the marketers the developer job is to provide the framework to authors and marketers so like, what i what does it mean like if you have a home page the developer will build the component within that home page, like header footer uh any whole uh, hero banner so that those will build by the developers but contain what is that image that image with the hero banner that will not be given by the developers okay that will be added by the authors okay and if that banner can needs to be changed depending on the user's behavior the website user behavior that will be defined by the marketers so these are the three different roles we have in the site for cfs let's see different sidecore interfaces okay actual how does sidecore look like first is a login so this is the login screen okay which we will have for the sidecore cms so whatever your website if you put a slash sidecore then it will open your your sidecore cms login okay where you can where user can enter his username and password and then login into the website so this is the login screen for the site for cms then we have a launch pad so once user is logged into the launch pad he will he will land on the law uh, sorry once user login into the cms he will land on the launch pad the launch pad will have a different functionality which you can utilize like here you see the marketing applications so which are available for uh, the the user then you will also have content editing option where you can have a content editor experience editor media library uh different recycle bin powershell script control panel you have access ma access management user management all those functionality will be available so launch pad depending on your role and success the launch pad functionality will will be displayed to the user so i am admin i am logged in as admin you see here administrator so that's why i'm i'm seeing all the functionalities then contain editor okay so once you log in you go to the launch pad and click on the content editor the content editor will look like this okay where you have a uh, different nodes here contain forms layout media library social system template we will see each notes later when we will go into the detail but this is how uh contain editor will uh, contain editor is, uh, uh, ui looks like so this is used by the content editor where they can update the content of the website again it here you see a lot of menus so it all depends on what role you are logged in though depending on that role you will see the nodes here and also you will see the menu so this is the content editor then experience editor this is the experience editor, and this is the most critical functionality of the uh, the site core so uh, uh, or very important functionality of the site core because here you can update the content as you are updating into the sire uh, into on the website so it's a website look like functionality and when you will do the coding you have to make sure that you are you are you are you are building the uh, building the project uh, uh, which will support the uh, experience editor so the 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 way you are coding uh, there are some things which we have to do that we will discuss when we will be we will be discussing further uh, uh, but those when you develop those you have to take care that you are using the experience editor otherwise you what will happen is you are you are using the site for cms the uh, but you are not using the most important feature of your us uh, site for cms then desktop 
desktop is similar to similarly uh, to a launchpad where you can see all the functionalities you have here you can change the databases okay so you can change the master database where you work in progress uh web database core database this is generally used by the developers okay so this is mostly used by the developers then you have an experience editor as i told you that uh, sitecore also has analytics features like google analytics you can see there are different analytics features which we can utilize so our sitecore provide that functionality also then experience profile again it's a marketing tool uh, similar to Google Analytics also you have this so here you can have a customer profiles visitor profile uh, how many visits he have made uh, what now uh, what is the value of the visit as we told we have discussed like users uh, the cycle provides the engagement uh, uh, engagement value also what I mean by engagement how much your customer is engaged in your website that also you can you can quantify so that all things will be defined here and also user profiles are defined here okay so this is a uh, experience profile then you have a control panel again this is used by the developers mostly here we have the more few things which you perform as a developer or a, as an administrator like you have here uh, administrative tools like the license details you can see uh, then you have a uh, export language import language functionality you can manage the indexing search okay then you have a um, uh, databases uh, uh, security indexing analytics so all these are uh, by the control panel so this is mostly used by the developers so these are the a uh, few interfaces which i have sh shown you if you have seen the launchpad there are multiple uh, functionalities so every functionality will have their own interface and uh, you can go work on it let's see some basic terminology using the site for item so items are the basic building block of your site for website okay an item is not a page or a file it is a unit of a content so whatever you create in the site code is an item so if you see this example this is the site or content then you see site code diaries article one article two three four five these all are actually an item in the site code what is content -like? items are uh, here the items are represented in the tree manner so that is called as a content -like. So, uh, so even if the URL also map to this position, so whatever URL call you are you are requesting, so that also has the path of the tree. So basically, if you see the example here, you have a three kind of a structure. So parent children relationship is there. So articles is a parent and article one, article two, three, four, five are the children. So this is how the uh, it is it is structure. So that is called as a content tree what is cms website in short form we call it as a cm website so this is an authoring website which will be used by the internal staff to edit update and delete the content so the, the one which we we have shown you the login screen that is the cms website so whatever the domain slash site code you put you get a login screen so out of the functionality which is internal staff is doing it is in on the cms website so in, so generally the cms website this website is the internal website is never a public website what is a content delivery website okay this is basically a live website which is accessed by the end user so whatever site which is live that is a what we call as a content delivery so it is called as a cd website any question you can email me on my email address this is my linkedin id you can contact to me at my linkedin if you like my uh, uh, video then please click on like button to share it with your friends uh, if you have any feedback please comment on it please subscribe to my channel uh, click on the bell icon to get the latest uh, uh, update or latest videos thank you thanks for watching my video